Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Junkie 2009 and today we're going to be doing some industrial strength stick welding with some 7024 electrodes. Uh, basically, as you all know, a little while back I put together a video specifically on 7024, a little bit about the electrodes and its uses. And uh, basically, to summarize, it is a high deposition electrode. It's usually used in production type settings. It was a lot more common a few decades before I was born. But, uh, you know, if you have an application now where you use flux core, dual shield, some kind of wire fit operation, maybe even regular spray arc, you know, back before all that was common, 7024. And in the video, you know, like I said, it's not all that common anymore, so I had to get creative in sourcing some electrodes to use in the video, so I was able to get a guy I know online, aka Killdozer, thanks again buddy, to send me a few pounds worth of stick electrodes, and he asked me what size I wanted, I said 8th inch, because that's what I use in the rest of the uh, stick electrode understanding videos, understanding stick electrodes videos, and he said alright, but I dropped in a couple 3 16 inch electrodes, so, and I quote, feed your welder some vitamins. Basically, from what I understand, 230 amps is pretty much going to be bare minimum to run these things. As you can see, they're what appears to be about 4 or 5 inches longer than regular 14 inch stick electrodes. And although I have them in a Hobart box, these are actually Lincoln rods, which it might get me burned at the stake by other welders. But regardless, yeah, look at that. These are, this is going to be pretty intense, you two. Here's an eighth inch electrode for comparison. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be fun. Basically, I have some 3 ace plate that I tacked up into a uh, like a two-sided fillet weld type deal. And I also tacked up a open root with a backing strip type bevel joint. I know we're obviously not going to have enough electrodes to fill this, but we're going to fill that pretty fast. So I decided since I already had the material cut out, you know, we'd use up whatever's left on this. And we are going to be running this on both DC electrode positive and electrode negative. So what I'll do is I'll just come over here and crank up the good old poor unsuspecting precision TIG. And uh, you know what, I think I'm going to start on DC electrode positive because that's where I run everything else. That's what I'm most familiar with. And we are pretty much just going to max this thing out. There we go. Alright. Well, this should be interesting. And also quite smoky, so I'm going to come over here, crank up this nice Avani SPC 2000 fume extractor, and we'll get her done. Yeah, I'd put a darker shade over my camera, but that's the darkest one I got. Alright, well as you can see, we welded out that 6 inch long joint with about 5 inches of electrode, which is pretty impressive. So now, we'll just come over here, chip the slag. I have a feeling we're going to see a little bit of undercut. happening but uh, oh well I think what I'm gonna do is come over here and cool down our workpiece then I'm gonna turn the welder down to I don't know 190 amps about
so I feel like that went a lot better. Uh, but I guess we won't really know until we uh, clean the slag off of here now, will we? Yeah, the, this pointy rippled structure tells me I'm going a little bit fast, but then again, every 7024 I've ever run doesn't really lay down perfectly curved ripples. I mean, they kind of are made to get fast. But again, I, I am probably still traveling a bit faster than I should. Just a touch. But nevertheless, here's the finished product. Uh, as you can see, that's a nice flat weld that's laying in there. We only have a minimal amount of spatter, especially considering the amperage we were running and the fact that this is three passes. So considering it's been about two years since I've run any large 7024, I tried it once back in high school and even then it was only once. I'm not really complaining, but as far as aesthetics look, those aren't always the best looking welds I think I've seen. However, we did do a three pass weld on three ace plate at approximately 200 amps, some a little bit more, some a little bit less, with less than one full electrode diameter. And that's a six inch long joint, by the way. And um, so, you know, that is pretty impressive. Now, as you all can see, I am starting my arc off the plate and long arcing to it. And I, sh I can elaborate now on why I'm doing that. As you can see, this is the tip of the electrode we just used. It's ready to be restarted. And you can see that bare steel wire inside the, uh, the flux coating, which is partially burned. And if I were going to start that, like if I was welding this here and I started it right in here, a chunk of that slag can fall off. And then I run back over it when I, you know, start the puddle, and then bam, instant slag entrapment. So, uh, you know, we obviously don't want to have that. Thus, if you start here, when you bang this thing on the metal to start the arc, that piece of flux is going to fall off here, that piece of slag. And then when you long arc over, you just have the arc and, and fresh metal you're putting down. And thus concludes our adventures on electrode positive, at least for now, depending on, you know, how many electrodes we have left, how much electrode. Now I'm going to try this on electrode negative. 7024 is one of those electrodes that can... Commonly, I'm sure there's DC only varieties of it on it somewhere, but overall 7024 can be run on electrode positive, electrode negative, or even AC. So I'm just going to come over here, switch it to DC minus, and let's weld out the other side of that joint. Issue is, as you saw there, 
my arc was almost being overtaken by slag because I was trying to move slower, so I can't really move slower or else bad things will happen. Uh, but nonetheless, behold, 3 16 inch, 7024. Like I said, that was on DC electrode negative, and I feel like I actually liked how it ran there better than I did on electrode positive, and uh, fortunately we've killed off our double fillet weld joint. So now, let's move over to that uh, V-groove weld. And just to switch it up a little bit, I'm gonna set this to AC. was an adventure and what have we learned from all this you ask? Well, 7024, you know, the two indicates that it's not an all position electrode, it can only be used in the flat position for horizontal fillets uh, and the, the reason for that is because it has a very liquid puddle and a very heavy liquid slag coating as I'm sure you all saw and uh, if you were going to try to do that like vertical or overhead or something it would just all fall back out. So, you know, it's, it obviously doesn't work well someplace where you have to compete with gravity. And even when we're doing like a horizontal fillet weld, we're kind of shoving that puddle up in there as opposed to just running it flat on the plate and letting it sink down. You know, it wants to sag down, we have to kind of force it back up there, so to speak. And so I think that explains the, uh, the pointed ripples here and, and the other, you know, potential issues we had and why the same exact electrode ran so much better doing a flat groove weld. Uh, such as obviously this one. But thus concludes our fun tonight because uh, we're out of electrodes and I guess theoretically I could sit here and fill in the remainder of this joint with the eighth inch electrodes but you know what I'd rather do is to save those electrodes for future project videos because I feel like that'd be a little bit cooler and as I found out they're surprisingly hard to come by in small quantities you know unless you want to buy like a 50 pound box. And the other issue is that this is the precision TIG and it is a very nice welder, it ha it's well made, it has a nice arc, I like it, but one of the things I don't like is the duty cycle and uh, you know it's only like 10% maxed out. But anyway, if you've ever wondered what it would look like to run 3 16th, 3 16th inch electrodes, I hope this video has given you a taste of that. I honestly had a lot of fun making it, it was a blast. And as always YouTube, thanks for watching, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more.